So a few days ago, a new version of WordPress was released called WordPress 5.6. And in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think about this particular version of WordPress. Hello and welcome back to the Bed Monkey Show. My name is Alex. Hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. So like I said in the intro, WordPress version 5.6 is here. And uh, what do I think about this uh, new version of WordPress? Well, they have made quite a few number of changes, mostly positive. The only issue is that some of these changes I really don't care that much about, while others uh, I do care about. So let's first of all start off with the changes I don't care that much about. And it first of all has to do with the uh, Gutenberg page builder. So they have made some improvements, greater layout flexibility. We have more block patterns, uh, upload video captions directly to the block editor and so on. So yes, some nice improvements, but in my humble opinion, uh, Gutenberg is still a long way from being able to compete uh, with the likes of Elementor or the DV page builder or Biva uh, page builder and so on. So. Personally, even though these are nice upgrades, Gutenberg is constantly improving. I mean, if you were to compare the version of Gutenberg that we have today to the version that we had, let's say, six months ago, you would notice a massive difference. So Gutenberg is constantly improving, which is awesome. It's just that I personally think it's going to take a few more upgrades before uh, Gutenberg can attempt to try to uh, compete with uh, the other page builder. So good improvements, but it's not enough for me to switch from Elementor to Gutenberg. We need more improvements. We also now have a new theme, the 2021 theme, and uh, it looks pretty awesome. I, I feel it's a theme built more for like our portfolio websites as opposed to the traditional blog. And uh, yes, it's a nice theme, but again, I really don't care because it's not a theme I'm going to be working with, to be honest with you. I already have several themes I work with, and if you are an experienced WordPress user, you also already have themes that you're working with. And we're not going to be working with a 20, 2021 theme. I feel this is a theme meant more for our beginners, people who are new to WordPress, who are working with WordPress for the very first time. They can get to work with the 2021 theme, which is awesome. And then also from uh, for testing purposes, maybe something breaks on your, web, on your WordPress website and you need to test uh, you can always switch temporarily to the 2021 theme and then see uh, what the issue might be. So other than that, personally, I really don't care that much about uh, this new theme that they have released. But let's talk about something that I do care about, which is pretty awesome. And that is the fact that they are now offering support on a better level for PHP version 8. Now, currently, the latest version of, of PHP is 7.4. PHP version 8 is going to be faster, more secure, and it's pretty awesome that WordPress is already providing some level of support uh, for PHP version 8. However, if your web hosts currently are offering you the ability to upgrade to version 8 for PHP, I would recommend you don't do so. Wait for a few more weeks until uh, WordPress begins to offer full support for version 8 and then you can make the switch for now, just stick with version 7 for uh, PHP. Now, they're also offering the ability to uh, enable automatic updates for uh, WordPress itself. In the previous version of WordPress, we had the uh, enable automatic updates for plugins. Now, uh, you can actually enable automatic updates for WordPress itself. So if you go over to your updates page, you will see it right here, uh, this site, is automatically kept up to date with maintenance and security reasons and security releases of WordPress only. And then right here, you have the link enable automatic updates for all new versions of WordPress. Personally, I would say don't do this. Okay. It is much better if you're the one who initiates the update for WordPress manually. Keep in mind that whenever you run an update to WordPress, there is a risk you might end up breaking something on your site. So it's much better when you're the one who actually initiates the update. And then once you run the update, you can check if everything is fine on your website. Of course, you want to make a backup of your website before you run the update. So these are things you want to do before you actually uh, initiate the update itself. When you make it automatic, I feel you're less in control. And uh, I, honestly, I would recommend you don't enable automatic updates for WordPress for your themes and plugins, 
do the updates yourself uh, manually. Okay, uh, one other uh, change that they've made, uh, let me just quickly uh, show you. If you go to your user's uh, page, uh, let me just quickly show you. So right down here, you now have the ability to set uh, application passwords. So the way this works is that sometimes if you needed to connect your WordPress website to a third party application, uh, let's say Instagram, for example, right? The Instagram API will typically ask you for a password that it can use to connect to your WordPress website. Now in the past, uh, you would have to provide the admin password, the password that you use to connect to your WordPress backend. That's usually the password that you will have to provide that application, but you no longer have to do so because now you can simply come in here and create a password for that particular application. So as an example, I could come in right now, provide a name. So let's say Instagram, right? Instagram. And uh, I can add the new application password. I'm clicking there. So now this is the password that's been created. So now I can go to my Instagram account and then provide that password there. So the wonderful thing is that once you have the connection, you will then be able to begin to monitor and see how that application is uh, working on your WordPress website. And then you can also revoke the application's access to your WordPress website anytime by simply coming in here and clicking on uh, revoke. So this is something I might uh, make another video on showing you exactly how the whole thing works. It is a major upgrade, but there is also some security concerns because honestly, whenever you connect third party applications or websites to your WordPress website, there is always a security concern anyway. So we'll see how uh, this plays out. Uh, that's pretty much it for the WordPress uh, version 5.6. Uh, yeah, mostly positive changes. Some I care about, some I really don't care uh, that much about. Let me just quickly go through this page one more time just to make sure that I don't forget uh, anything. Yeah, they do have some other, you know, behind the scenes uh, upgrades for like jQuery for developers and so on. So let's not bother ourselves about that. But that's it for WordPress 5.6. What do you think about this new version of WordPress 5.6? Are you going to be working with the 2021 theme? Are you going to be working with the Gutenberg page builder? Have the improvements been enough for you to switch from whatever builder you're using right now to Gutenberg? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments. If you have any questions about this upgrade, of course, put them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you're notified uh, whenever I upload a new uh, video here on the Web Monkey channel. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. Take care of yourself and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.